Hello, welcome back to episode 5 of Remote and Mind Squish. We're back after doing a tour of the city of Knoxbridge, or the town of Knoxbridge. And we're going to go back to our Let's Play. We're going to take a look at some of the changes around here, and we're actually going to get some mining. I did finish the mine shaft down there. You'll notice I've been collecting a few things as we go along. I even found a little bit of lapis in the room down, down below so we can start to enchant some tools. Um, we may do that very briefly, uh, if it, we can do it quickly here at the beginning. Um, but let me show you some of the changes around here. Uh, first is we've added this, the upstairs. Uh, got to plug up this window with some glass, but a little bit of light. Uh, we've put in the balcony. It's not quite finished. It's only partially uh, done, but it reaches all the way out over here. You know, all the doors are locked and we're set, but we have our view, which is nice. And you'll notice down there, see the cobblestone right there? Uh, we have a, um, an exit to the mine down there too. So we've been, putting, I'll show you that in just a minute. Oops. <laughs> and of course you can always just jump off the balcony. Uh, I obviously haven't finished putting the building all that yet. Put up some signs to let people know who this is. Building here. And let me go up and close that door real quick. Don't want to leave a draft. Uh, still need to take care of some of the dirt in this area, of course. And then we've added in you know, some protection so that we don't drop. But we've also added in some water stops down here. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop and take a look. We now have uh, a little garden going. Um, nothing too significant, but enough to provide us some food so that we don't have to you know, go anywhere. We don't even have to go to the void plot to get food because uh, it's right here and, and we can pick up what we need to. We've got some of the basics in the hoe over here in case we need to right, store these in here. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll need those right now. Um, then I've also added water stops or water elevators down here. So let me go back to the top real fast. This is just to make it easier to get through and get down here. So if you want, if you know you that you don't, you can jump into the first oops, batch of water and uh, I didn't do that quite right, so I'm just gonna. And it's just water stopped by a sign, and I put it on the right-hand side. So when I jump in, I try to stay on the left-hand side. But as soon as I hit the water, if I press towards the ladder, I drop out of the water. It slows me down. And I can catch the ladder, and I don't take the fall damage. And this stop is our side door to the outside. So if we're out exploring and we want to come through. And we don't want to climb all the way back up because there's our there's our balcony up there by the way. So there's our house. We can come right in here to Moat's Mine. And we have our own little side entrance. Now the same thing can be done again here. Is if I just jump, I can hit the water and I can pull back. And that'll drop us off at the second stop. Oops, sorry. And that's our cavern that we've been in. No. Oh, I was gonna say. Alright. So there's our cavern. And now, of course, the last stop is going to be the bottom of the mine. And there I can just kind of drop right through. And then we drop on this step. So it's a quick way to get down here without having to climb all the way down. And, of course, just slash home will take us up to the top. I stopped going straight down right there because there is a big old pond of lava that's all over it right here. So just left so you can see. Got down here. Haven't done anything else yet. Just carved out at the beginning of a space. I did find some lapis right about here, so that was really quite nice. Uh, and so we'll actually do a little bit of mining here um, in a minute. Uh, I think that was the core of it, but the first thing I want to do is we're going to go back up to the house. Um, oh, I already have that. So I think we're going to go out, try going out and uh, see if we can enchant this pick to give us a little bit better opportunity. So we're going to jump out now to help. Take advantage of some of these these uh, commands we have available to us. And we'll come right over here. We've got 20 levels, but let's use the higher level enchanting table. And let's see what we can get. Uh, breaking 2 plus something. I'm breaking 1. Well, not tremendous, but it could do. Um, I'm breaking two, same thing. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's 
go ahead and take that. Yeah, efficiency too. That's nice. And uh, we still have a few levels left. Efficiency too. Oh, that's kind of a nice little. It's not a bad little combination for those. All right, what do I have left? I've got two levels. Can't imagine I'd get much of anything, but while we're here, nope. And last thing to check again, I'd be real surprised, but you never know. All right. Well, we're at the high level one anyway, so that would be good. All right, now that we have those, let's just go ahead and do. Swim back home. Oof. Getting some lag, I need to be concerned about. I'm going to make sure. Uh, probably want to go ahead and bring the crafting table downstairs, or at least some wood with us. So we can create one down there. And start getting ourselves set up. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of this cobblestone as well. You can see I've got some iron ore. And we'll take some of the iron for making picks down in. Alright. So I'm just going to go stay to the left. And take no damage. Alright. So let's go ahead and we'll. Um, I don't think I'm going to go on that one because of the lava that's right there. And we're just going to start doing our mining. And we'll start broadening this out. What do we have? Uh, it's already partially used. We'll go ahead and take that. And I think what we'll do is. Let's do. We'll do a um, branch mine pattern here so we'll go over two blocks that uh, allow us to put some chests in there if we want to and um, just going the back right now so these will be our these will be our, our main branches at the beginning here. I was hoping that maybe we'd strike well we got some iron that's nice uh, but hoping we strike something fun like diamond but nah no go Alright, uh, and there's bedrock, so uh, if you wanted to know where we are, we'll check it out just to let you know in just a moment. And drought items will be removed, so I'm glad I picked those up. Always important to remember, just letting me know that those things are going to disappear. Uh, let's go ahead and get some furnaces going. And then we'll need eight. Let's just do six. Oh, you can't really go wrong with furnaces, what the heck. And we'll put that guy over here. I, I brought down no coal at all, though, so I can't even start working on that. That's all right. What we can do is go ahead and get. Chest going. Uh, right now, we're just going to put out. I'm going to make this very cramped in here. We'll just do it that way for right now. Just because it looks nicer. Alright, so. Oh, and I was going to show you. So we are down here at level 6. Oops. Uh, so it should be at a good level for diamonds and lava. So. Should have all kinds of entertainment. So we're going to go ahead and just start doing our mine. Oh, hello. All right. Let that come through. Start working on this one. In general, yeah, I really could be up at level 12. That's, uh, you know, Harpotech likes to be up at, at level 12. I don't have that much luck with diamonds, so I tend to start a little lower. You know, they're supposed to be anywhere in here. I'm getting there's the coal I need. Um, I don't have... I didn't bring down water now that I think about it, right? I have a bucket with no water. Mm -hmm. Wasn't necessarily most prepared for this, but that's okay. I'm just going to grab some of this stuff. Uh, so I'm down here as you know, close to bedrock as I can, as I can stand in the hopes of finding diamond relatively quickly. Alright, my goodness. Put that up so it doesn't get to us later. And 
I have enough mud on right now. But we'll start getting some experience by doing that. So we're going to have to do something about this. I think I'm going to try it. There we go. But I'm guessing the lava goes all the way down. Oh, no, okay. Oh, it's right there. That's fine. Okay. That's just probably going to be a no-starter for right now. So we'll keep over here for right now. Uh, tend to go up. This is five, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five or six. Depends upon how, how I'm doing. And I'm, my cheese is going to be a long process. Oops. I thought I'd gotten. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Chihuahua. I'm getting some lag off of that. Do I need to? <laughs> Just figure as soon as it stops, I get to the water. I wasn't sure it was going to stop there. skeleton up there someplace. Alright, so we know we've got some lava back here. Let's imagine this is going to be one. Oh my gosh. Whew! <laughs> you think I would have learned from the first time, but no. Stay back here. Can't afford another bout with fire. That little bug is very annoying. Where you can't eat unless you're facing. Alright, did I get the same? I think I got one behind that. So yes, good, okay. Um, but what we're going to really want to do is climb up and over this, I think, and see. Just maybe too far down. And we'll, we'll try it out. So you can see from there, right there, that the lava's just right off that side. So we can go up a little bit. See if that makes any difference for us. Oof. At least this time it won't be coming. Oh, that's pretty deep in the pit. Jomo just realized I said hi to him earlier and just was saying hi. I do the same thing, so. Uh, well, I'm saying it's going well, but I'm not having all that much luck with mining, but that's alright, we'll see what happens. It's a turn on a dime. So we're going to go up here a little bit. And, uh, I'm getting some iron, getting some resources. I can't complain too much, I guess. We come right down to it. And I haven't died. I've tried a few times, but I haven't actually died yet. Oh, did it again. There we go. Even the. Let's see what level are we at, real quick. Um, yeah, that'll be good. So we'll try. <laughs> With all the lava around here, I don't want to dig straight up. We'll give it a try. Uh, so I think we're, we'll stay around here. Oh, yeah, I found the underwater on monuments. I love that in 1 8. There are several around here. I haven't tried tackling them yet. But we'll try that maybe in this race. Uh, 
I've been told that we need the right equipment and all that. I'm really be prepared for it. Hey, gold. Maybe a little bit else. So if we continue with this pattern, maybe we'll get some diamond here. There's lava right near here, so I want to be a little careful. And we'll take the redstone. We're going to want some redstone for uh, an automated farm. We want to set up here pretty shortly, uh, probably over in the uh, our void plot. <laughs> I thought I could. He's braver than I am. mining away here. Um, let's see if we can't find a set of diamonds. It would be nice to get some obsidian. We've got plenty of lava over there to make obsidian from. We can get some inner chests going, which would be nice. spells. Uh, potions, that's what it is. Alright. Um, sorry, I forgot where I was going here. And I think what we'll probably do is, I'm not going to make you guys watch hours upon hours of mining. Uh, we'll... Hey, there we go. Uh, this is one of the reasons that I mine in... Um, you know, generally mine in extreme hills it tends to have emeralds now, this is when I wish I had a fortune pick but no such luck it's not yet we'll keep working on it so let's go ahead and grab this Our first emerald excellent well that's good catch that uh, what I'll do I think is I'll go ahead and Um, we may make this a short video. Uh, I may go ahead and give him one of my potions out of my survival stock from previous. Um, but we'll probably, I'll probably go ahead and keep mining. Uh, I'll try to go ahead and capture, if I see a diamond, I'll try to capture that in the video for the next one. But we'll call this one a little short. We've gotten some mining going. We've got our first emerald. We've got, we're starting to get some resources here. Some good iron. I'm going to start cooking that up. Um, and we've got ourselves a start, certainly with uh, lots of lava, if nothing else. So, can't complain. Things are off to a, a pretty nice start. Overall, I think we've got our stuff. And uh, we're already firing, finding emeralds, so things are pretty good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side, and we'll, next time we will hopefully have some diamonds, and we may even head out to the nether to start gathering some nether wart for a uh, potion farm, or to start doing our potions and things like that. We'll need some blaze rods for a brewing stand, for um, ender chest, and for our own ender portal. If we uh, well, we won't need the, the blaze rods for that, uh, but we'll need you know for fire protection potions and all that fun stuff so maybe we'll head to the nether next time let's see what happens anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you're enjoying the series as always constructive comments family friendly comments are always welcome please leave them down below and i will catch you guys on the flip side